Okay, this is a demo of the back end of OpenBazaar. I'm going to show how it works when we are browsing stores. So the first thing that we need to do is fire up the daemon. And if we take a look through the logs here, um, basically what happened was it reached out to a seed node. Um, this is a little bit different than Bitcoin. This is running um, not a DNS seed, this is a HTTP seed uh, that serves up a gzipped protocol buffer containing a list of all the known nodes in the network and given that we're doing it over HTTP we could kind of uh, configure our query so if we needed let's say a list of, of all the vendors in the network we could get back uh, that list as well. Um, there's only one node in the network right now that's running on my server um, so we can see it connects to that node, it pinged it and then issued a find node command and that's kind of where we're sitting right now. So if we were in the user interface, we're going to have a essentially a store directory, a list of all the uh, stores that we know of. And the first thing we want to do um, when we to populate that directory is we need to kind of ping each one of them to get a little bit of metadata, their store name, their hand, one name handle if they're using one. Um, and we want their avatar image as well. We're not going to do this for every single node we know about, only the ones that we need to populate the kind of the first page if we're doing some pagination or infinite scrolling or what have you. We'll only ping the ones that we actually need um, to display at that moment. But to do that, the first thing I need to do is I need to get a list of my peers. Okay, so we only have one peer in the network. This is the GUID. Um, when nodes connect to each other, they, they don't just share the GUID and the IP and port. They also share a Boolean, um, which tells whether they are running a store or not. So we can kind of differentiate between nodes that are running a store and nodes that are not. So we can just pull up a list of, of nodes that are running a store. This one is running a store um, because I configured it on my server. So now we want to we're going to ping it with a get metadata. Okay, if we look through the logs, we can see that the it sent um, where is it? Calling, uh, calling remote function get metadata on our node. And this is essentially the response. The name of the store is Vintage Antiques. This is our handle. And it has an avatar hash, uh, the hash of our avatar image. It will check to see if we have the avatar already in cache. If we don't, it will download it, which is what this calling remote function get image is doing. And if I look in my OpenBazaar directory in the cache, we can see my avatar image was downloaded. Okay, the next thing we will want to do, these are more messages coming from, I'm running a network crawler, so this is, you'll see network crawler messages show up here every now and then. So now that we have the metadata for the store, let's say we want to click on the store and actually go into it and view what it looks like. The next command that we want to give it is a get profile. The metadata is kind of like a shortened version of the profile. The profile can contain a lot more information. Now, <clears throat> we can see here calling remote function get profile. I didn't fill out all the other information, but the information could be like the, the about section where you describe the store. It could be uh, your Facebook and account, social media profiles, you could link your PGP key, uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you'll see. The only other thing I included in this profile you'll see is the uh, header image, which it um, gives us the hash, and just like with the avatar, since it didn't have the header and cache, it went out and downloaded it. So if I come here in the cache, and I'll see here's my header for my antique store. So this is basically all the information needed to populate um, what the store looks like when the, when the user visits it. Next thing we need to do is get the listings for the store.
okay, and this returns uh, some metadata about each one of the listings. It's not returning the actual full contract and images and all of this. It's just enough data to populate what would be that list view um, containing all the whatever number of contracts we're showing on that particular list view. Again, if we're doing like pagination or infinite scrolling or something, um, we'll fetch only what we need for that. So the metadata, we have our contract hash, we have the, the title, this is, we're selling a, uh, a floor lamp. We have a thumbnail hash, and unlike the other ones, we're, we're not gonna immediately download this thumbnail hash because we don't wanna, if they have like hundreds of listings, we don't wanna immediately download hundreds of thumbnails. If, if we're only showing, let's say, 10 at a time or 20 at a time, we only wanna download just enough to kind of load the page, and we'll download the other ones as we go. Category, this the UI can kind of parse this and uh, build a list of categories to sort through. Here's our price, and priced it in USD. Um, so now that we have our contract hash, let's say we actually want to view this contract. Okay, so we see a lot of stuff going on here. We see calling remote function get contract. You see this is an order dictionary um, containing the JSON object. Um, and it also downloaded all the images associated with the contract as well. So if I come over here into my cache, we can see this is essentially what we're selling here. This is this French vintage lamp, alternate views. And we have our Ricardian contract here, fully filled out, description, public keys. We can populate everything we need in the UI just from this. And so there you go. That's where we are up to so far with the back end.